Imagine a civilization able to instantly travel anywhere within the cosmos, or an even higher evolved civilization that harnesses the power to easily create or destroy an entire universe at will. This is the realm of highly advanced civilizations far beyond those described in the Kardashev scale. Join us as we explore the theoretical and highly subjective world of type 5, 6 and 7 civilizations. Before we begin, let's very quickly review the civilizations that most people are familiar with. These are the three types of civilizations within the scale created by Nikolai Kardashev that bears his name. It is a theorized framework used to assess a civilization's advancement and ability to harness technological power. This is a civilization that has the capability to harness all of the available energy resources on their home planet. They can control the planet's climate along with all natural disasters. Type II civilizations are civilizations that can harness the power of their entire host star. Type III civilizations can travel, manipulate and harness the power of an entire galaxy. For reference and to provide some perspective, humankind is not yet even considered a Type I civilization. At the present time, we find ourselves at around 0.7 on the scale. Kardashev created the type 1, 2 and 3 civilizations in his scale, but the list has since been expanded in a more speculative form to include civilizations 4 through 7. Prepare to be astounded as we delve further into more and more advanced theoretical civilization types. A type 4 civilization is known as a universal culture. This is because it is theorized that a civilization this advanced would not only be able to control a galaxy, but an entire universe. Such a civilization would have control over the fabric of space-time itself and the ability to manipulate fundamental physical laws. It would possess mastery of universal energy, control over fundamental forces such as gravity, electromagnetism, and nuclear forces. Of course, to do all of this, Traveling across vast cosmic distances would be possible, maybe through wormholes or interdimensional travel. Type 5 Civilizations This type of civilization would have control over not just a single universe, but multiple universes within a multiverse. They would potentially be able to manipulate the properties of the multiverse itself, altering the rules and laws of physics across different universes. This type of power could allow them to create new universes as they wish, or, conversely, destroy entire universes from existence. As a multiverse civilization, travel across different universes within the multiverse would be possible enabling them to explore the diversity of cosmic realities and realize cosmic engineering on a massive multiversal scale, such as rearranging the multiverse structure itself. It is even thought that a civilization this advanced could have achieved a form of immortality by transcending beyond a conventional biological existence and potentially existing as energy beings or conscious entities. A Type VI civilization would have control and influence over cosmic structures and realities that exist on a scale beyond the multiverse if such a concept even applies. Perhaps this could mean that they could manipulate and transcend cosmic laws and principles that govern not only individual universes or multiverses, but the very nature of existence itself. Members of this civilization might possess the ability to traverse between dimensions, realities, or cosmic planes that are beyond the comprehension of lower level civilizations. They may have the power to create new cosmic realities or realms that exist outside the boundaries of conventional space-time. This type of civilization would possess profound insights into the nature, origin and the purpose of the cosmos and could undertake cosmic engineering beyond imagination, potentially reshaping the fabric of existence itself. They may also be able to engineer multiple civilizations with various species across different universes ranging from type 0 to type 5, with themselves positioned at the top of the hierarchy. A type 6 civilization would exist in realms of existence and consciousness that are beyond the comprehension of lower-level civilizations. 
and their actions and motivations would be nearly impossible to fathom and most certainly be beyond human understanding. Type 7, Civilizations. We have now arrived at the top of the scale where the theoretical power and existence of a Type 7 civilization is pure but fascinating speculation. At this stage, we've now reached a point where a Type 7 civilization is nearly impossible for humans to fully comprehend. A notable distinction for a Type 7 civilization is their ability to govern the Omniverse. While entirely speculative, the Omniverse generally refers to the idea that there may be an all-encompassing or meta-level of existence that includes and transcends all universes, multiverses, dimensions and realities, encompassing every possible form of existence. Having the ability to govern the Omniverse would allow them to have the ability to create and dissolve entire realities or universes at will, shaping the nature of existence itself. Time and space, as we understand them, would be irrelevant to a Type 7 civilization, as they would probably exist in a state that transcends these concepts. Some theories suggest they could exist as pure consciousness or as pure energy and thought, allowing them to transcend any physical or material limitations. They might possess an understanding of the ultimate cosmic purpose and harmony, with no concerns about mortality or suffering. Instead, their existence might be characterized as perpetual bliss, enlightenment, and euphoria. If such concepts have any meaning at this level of existence, the actions, motivations, and nature of a Type 7 civilization would be utterly incomprehensible to lower-level civilizations like ours, as our human cognitive and perceptual limitations would prevent us from understanding their existence fully. The gulf of understanding between this level of civilization and humankind could be like comparing the knowledge and motivations of a human to bacteria. As we reflect back on our journey from Type 1 civilizations all the way through to Type 7, it is clear that if humankind were to ever transcend to the upper echelons of civilization evolution, we would reach a point where the experiences that define us as humans would become distant. Having conquered Earth, the universe, the multiverse, and the omniverse, and possessing ultimate power to create and control everything, the question arises, where would humanity go from there? Or perhaps a more important question would be, what purpose would remain for us? We truly hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. We would also love to hear your thoughts, theories, and speculations so please leave them in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.